Hey guys, it's Evan Bors here, and I wanted to do a brief video sort of going over um, something that I've gotten asked about a lot, which is my decision to sell my Scarlet W and purchase a um, Aria Mira instead. So I've talked about this before on Patreon, but figured it might be worth me um, just sort of talking about it on here as well um, briefly. So. The um, long and short story is that last year I bought a Red Scarlet W, love the camera, one of my favorite cameras, um, just great little package, really um, makes great images, was very happy with it, but I found that for me, from a business perspective, it wasn't the best camera, um, and it was in the middle of me making some other sort of branding decisions about myself and my work and whatever else, which led to me deciding I was going to dump the camera and just not have a camera for a while, and I was just going to DP things, um, and just rent cameras for jobs and whatever else. I still have my C100. I was hanging out with my buddy Quentin, who is a DP who lives sort of near me, and we decided to um, purchase a camera together. Um, basically we were sitting around playing FIFA and decided that it made sense for us to buy an Ari Amira because of work he had on the horizon and work I had on the horizon that we just felt like from a money perspective um, it made sense to buy an Amira. So for me um, it wasn't really about anything other than a business decision to go from owning a Scarlet W to owning an Amira. Um, and so for the like full transparency of what that looked like I sold my Scarlet W package for I want to say like twenty one thousand um, dollars and I purchased the Amira and we got it from a friend of ours and we paid about thirty four thousand dollars for the full package once we got um, accessories and whatever else and that doesn't count like little personal parts of my kit but as far as what we would consider the package that is what we paid um, so we have a, a spreadsheet where we keep track of everything and according to that spreadsheet, uh, we have paid $34,474. $34,474. Gosh, guys. Um, so that was the um, price we paid, but we split it perfectly in half, so it's about $17,200 each. So it was actually technically cheaper for me. I got money back from my Scarlet, put half uh, in towards an Amira, um, and had a couple thousand dollars left over, which was nice. And we started uh, putting it on jobs immediately. It basically only worked with us this year, so it didn't really like get rented out to other productions. It did two days with friends of ours on their shoots, um, and it did just this month it did two weeks on a feature where a friend needed um, an Amira. So, but for most of the year, it's just been on our job. So if Quentin or I was DPing it, we would bring the camera, get a rate for the camera. Um, and so far, the camera has made us a grand total of $60,325 in rentals. Um, so it's not a bad place to be coming from uh, putting $34,000 in 10 months ago. So we've both more than made our money back. Um, it's continuing to do well for us and it's the kind of thing that we could sell it really soon and probably still get $30,000 back for it at least. So it held its value really well. It's done a lot of days. I believe if I check our spreadsheet, it has done 78 and a half days in the last 10 months, which is a lot. Um, you know, that's almost, that's almost 20, uh, 40 days each, except for if you count the feature out of that. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, it's 63 and a half, no, 65 and a half. So 65 days, basically 30 days each, um, except for it might be a little little more leaning towards Quentin. Um, but yeah, so it's been a really good business decision. It's been a camera that I've been really happy to own. Obviously, I love the image. I've found that it's um, helpful in general because it's something that holds value well. It's something that people are willing to pay for and pay good rental rates for, so it's worked out really well in that way. Um, and yeah, yeah, I've just been really happy with that decision. So I feel like I needed to clear up some of that. Admittedly, I've taken about a year to get around to clearing it up, but uh, my Scarlet in the like uh, six or eight months that I owned it, I think made me about a thousand or two thousand dollars out of the, uh, maybe a little more than that, maybe two or three thousand dollars out of the twenty two thousand dollars I put into it. So the sixteen thousand dollars that I've put into this that has, you know, technically made 
$30,000 for me in rentals because we split them all down the middle has uh, has been a pretty pretty good gig and it's not slowing down anytime soon. So I'm excited to see what's coming up next in Ari's future. Also interested to see what's coming up in Red's future because at the end of the day, I, uh, I want to use the best tool for the job and if it's something else after the Amir, maybe that means going over to, you know, whatever Red has next in the lineup or something else. I'm definitely interested in that. Like I said, I love my Scarlet W. I love what Red's doing um, and I'm just really thankful that we have options. So if you are interested in learning more about sort of like the business of um, film production and stuff and sort of the numbers behind this, I feel like it's something that a lot of people aren't very transparent about and it's something that I want to try and be more transparent about because it was the information information I needed when I was starting out. You can find more of that on my Patreon, patreon.com slash eborsier. You also get access to our cool new community site, which has a whole categorized forum, and you get access to our Facebook group. You get access to all kinds of content, hours and hours of stuff, me breaking down things like this, lighting breakdowns, whatever else. Um, but you might like it. Check it out, patreon.com slash eborsier. Listen to our podcast, supersecretfilmcast.com. And I think that's it. So I'm out of here. Thank you guys for watching.